Welcome back to PortlandTimbers.com, everyone. And I think Jack Jewsbury put it best. It's like a second training camp right now for the Portland Timbers. All told, two and a half weeks between the Open Cup game last week and a week from Sunday when they return to league action against the LA Galaxy. So they were out here today at the Adidas Timbers training facility. Pretty nice day, actually, all told. Not a full group, still a number of guys away with the national teams, a couple of players coming back off of injury, Chris Boyd getting married in Scotland, et cetera, et cetera. But an opportunity for fitness to build back up, sharpness in front of goal to be re created certainly those have been the themes that we have heard and one of the challenges too how do you make sure the guys are at the right level fitness wise not working too hard not taking too much time off when you don't have the regular rhythm of building up for games and so for that we checked in with timbers strength and conditioning coach john ireland well first off it's been what i think about two months you've been here how are you enjoying your time working with the timbers uh, it's uh, it's been a good start john uh, it's been very enjoyable um the only thing's been the weather, trying to get used to that, even though I'm Scottish. But um, uh, it's been a, there's been some challenges, as we all know. Um, but this is a great week to um, to have this break or this next two weeks to get a mini training camp done this week. So, uh, But as far as my time here, it's been great working with John Spencer and the club's a very, very good organised club. So it's been great fun. Yeah, how do you approach this time in the middle of a season to have a long break like this? Uh, it's it's hard because the guys want to be playing, and it's hard to have a, a two-week break with no games. Um, but it's a great chance for us to make the most of it now, and um, and that's looking from a from the coach's point of view as far as the tactics and shape and different personnel and different slots. And for myself, it's getting the getting a chance to have a mini training camp and get the guys stronger, get the guys sharper, and um, get ready for the next push. We've heard in recent weeks coaches and players alike talking about the improved fitness of the team. What are the things that you have done in your time here to make that the case? Um, firstly, coming in a couple of months ago when you first spoke to me, it was more on the aerobic conditioning side. Um, I think the guys had done a lot of top-end speed work, uh, but that doesn't carry you through a whole length of a game. So we had to adjust that first. Now we're getting back to where we need more game-specific speed. and positional speed as well so we've got the wide the wide guys doing different runs the center halves doing different runs and uh, we're into that stage now where we've got to get that specificity down and um, it, and it's fun I think the guys have enjoyed it we've used a lot of the ball this week and maybe disguise fitness within that but there's a big component is the fitness to that as well last um, thing for you we saw early in the season an mm -hmm. issue of conceding goals late that has stopped and it hasn't been an issue how much of that is just being able to carry the fitness through 90 minutes 92 minutes 94 minutes it's some a part of it i don't know if it's the whole thing but i think when your fitness goes your concentration goes so i think that in some ways it goes hand in hand and uh, fitness certainly is a big part of it uh it's not the whole picture but there's been some personnel changes um but yes it does help and the uh, fitter they are the concentration's better and hopefully hopefully we get back to scoring goals and closing games out the way that we all will want that to happen so no game this weekend, and again, kind of a quiet period. The team will just continue to train every day out here at the Adidas Timbers training facility. We'll be back with you next week with our training report, getting you set for the match a week from Sunday against the LA Galaxy.